Welcome to Unit 1 Google Suites. In this tutorial, we are going to look at Google Docs. I know a lot of you have worked in Google Docs, but we're just going to do a quick summary for those of you who don't have a lot of experience in it. Um, to get into a Google Docs, you're actually going to sign into your Gmail account or you can sign into your Drive. Either way, is you can work. And then you are going to go to My Drive and you are going to find your 2018-2019 school year folder. We're going to go into Enter Computers. We want to go create a folder. If you do not have it, you're going to create a folder called Google Docs and you're going to save everything in your Google Docs folder. Then we're going to double click on that and we're in. And if I look at my paths, I can read where I'm at by looking here. Um, the bottom layer or the first floor is my Google Docs. Then I go up to my second floor and here is my Intro to Computers. Third floor is my 2018-2019 school year folder. And here is my root or the top of my drive. And that is my drive. Just a quick summary. We looked at Google Sites, which we know is an application so application that largely lets you create websites without using HTML or CSS. Google Drive is a storage facility that allows you to store documents online, and they are accessible anywhere there is internet on any mobile device. Google Docs is a word processor. Uh, word processor that is very similar to Microsoft Word. However, Google Docs is limited in its capacities when you compare it to Microsoft Word. In the business world, most businesses use Microsoft uh, products. They do not use Google or Google Docs because of the lack of security that is provided um, um, in Microsoft versus the lack of security that is provided by the drive. So most businesses, you do need to know Microsoft Word and Excel very well because that's what your businesses and careers will be using. All right, so to create a Google Doc, we can go to New or we can just simply right click and go down to Google Docs application icon and select it. And then we have a document open. The first thing that we're going to do is we always title our document. This one I'm just gonna call practice. In your instructions, you'll be given what to call it. And then I just hit enter and it's set. My first line is usually going to be the name of my paper or my document. In this case, we're going to type in history of animals. I'm going to hit enter a couple times. I'm going to triple click one, two, three, and then I'm going to go over to normal text. And usually the first line of your paper or your document will require a heading. So I'm going to do a title. And you can do a heading one, never do a yet heading two or three. It's either a title or a heading one. We're going to do heading one, and they normally are centered. All right, so then what to type um, here is a list of animals, all right, that I am studying right now. All right, and so I'm going to hit enter a couple times. You notice I leave a blank space between the first line of the paragraph and where I'm going to put my list. So I'm going to type in. Um, Let's do cow, dog, cat, horse. After I have mine in, I select this and I'm going to put this in a bulleted list because the order is not important. So I'm going to go over here, find my bulleted list. Here's my menu bar. Here is my toolbar. So I'm going to go here and there is my bullet. I'm just going to click on it and it automatically will put your bullets in. Now, if I want to create a sub list, I would put my cursor at the end of the word cow, hit enter, and then I'm going to come up here to my increase indent, and I'm going to type in Holstein, and then Jersey. Now, if I want the sub list underneath Holstein, I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to use my increase, and let's say I'm going to type in red and white, enter, and then I'll call type in black and white. So now I have my list set up. Now, if I wanted to, if this order mattered, then I could put that in a numbered list. And then notice that the number list will automatically change. All right, to add a table, we would just go to insert. And here is my table. And then just like in Word, I would just select the number of tables and rows I wanted. 
and there is my table. To ask to put data in here, I would just tab. All right, when I get to the end, if I need more rows, I can just tab. But you want to use your tab key when you enter data to go across. It's a lot easier and faster than here because here if you hit enter, it just makes more space. So thus, tabs work faster and quicker as far as entering data into a document. All right, we have pretty much talked about the list and the table. And we have also talked about adding a title to your page. That is pretty much what is going to be required of you when you do your exercises. Um, after that, you are to explore the software. Just a reminder on how we explore. We start here and we just click and we look and see what is here. So I get to page setup. I, I wonder what that is. So I click page setup and it shows me how to do my orientation, margins, paper size, page color. Page color would be your background color. Then if I go to edit, it's going to give me a drop down list view. So we're going to work right across. If I click on this folder, this allows me to move my document. So working, you're going to be working right across to see what all these tools do. And then you're going to be checking your menu bar. So uh, just a quick summary. Remember, um, we're, um, Google Docs is a word processor. Google Drive is a place where you save a, a file storage. And then Google Sites is your um, where you can create your websites. And then Google Forms was a place where you could create quizzes and surveys. So without further ado, I wish you the best at exploring your website or exploring Google Docs. And um, after this, go and check and see what your class activity is. Have fun. Thanks for listening.